Hi, my name is David Burnight. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my big grandma. Some of my favorite memories are about big grandma. I called her big grandma because I also had a little grandma. Big grandma wasn't fat. She was just big. She grew up in Illinois of uh, pioneer settler stock, and she just had big bones and was a big woman. When my mother was 13, Grandpa died, and so Grandma took over and went to work and raised all three children herself. When I came along, Grandma was living about half the time with our family and half the time with her son. So I always considered her a member of our family. She would wash dishes and do the ironing and help my mother a lot. And I enjoyed Big Grandma. We had a cabin up in the mountains, and we'd go up every June, and Grandma would go with us. And after the sweeping and dusting and bringing down the cobwebs was done, Grandma would go for hikes with me. Now she was an old lady, but she was a sturdy old lady. She always took along a big walking stick, and she told me that it was to kill rattlesnakes with. She had grown up in a place where the horses gra grazing on the prairie in Illinois were sometimes bitten by rattlesnakes which would lie in the prairie clover. And so Grandma hated rattlesnakes, and whenever she would see one, she would kill it. And as a matter of fact, when we'd find one on our hikes on the trail, Grandma would beat its head off with her walking stick. I think one of the funniest things that happened was one day when my dog Laddie cornered a skunk underneath our cabin. Wow, what a smell that was. But Grandma was not even concerned. That was the day we discovered that Grandma had lost her sense of smell. And as a matter of fact, now we understood why she'd been complaining lately that food just didn't taste as good as it used to. Because when your sense of smell goes, you lose your sense of taste too. Grandma had been born in 1860, and she told me that when she was five years old, her father took her down to the railway crossing to see Lincoln, President Lincoln's funeral train go by. To have that kind of living contact with our nation's history always thrilled me when I thought about it. Grandma lived to be almost 102, and on her 100th birthday, President Eisenhower sent her a birthday card. Of course, he sent birthday cards to every 100-year-old person, but we always thought that it was very special because Grandma was very special to us.